Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve integration problem by partial fraction method. The question is integral dx by sin x minus sin 2x. As a first step, we have to substitute formula for sin 2x. So, sin x we are writing as it is and sin 2x formula is 2 sin x cos x. So, we have replaced sin 2x formula. Now, we can take sin x common from the denominator. So, when sin x is common, we get remaining 1 minus 2 cos x. Now, we have to multiply numerator and denominator by sin x. So, we have to write here, multiply numerator and denominator by sin x. So, numerator will become now integral sin x dx whole divided by now denominator already there is some sin x when we multiply with one more sin x we get sin square x into 1 minus 2 cos x now the denominator sin square x is replaced with 1 minus cos square x using the trigonometric identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so sin square x is 1 minus cos square x now the remaining terms as it is now we can notice that when we take substitution t as cos x dt will become minus sin x dx so the numerator is replaced with minus dt and denominator is 1 minus t square into 1 minus 2t now the first term can be split into 1 plus t into 1 minus t using the formula a plus b in minus b is a square minus b square and the another term is 1 minus 2t as it is now we are going to apply the partial fraction for these terms let's write the term alone without the integration so we have minus 1 by 1 plus t into 1 minus t into 1 minus 2t we find all the three factors are different we already discussed about the partial fraction rules in the previous videos when all the three factors are different we use a by first factor plus b by second factor plus c by third factor so here it will become capital a divided by 1 plus t plus b by 1 minus t plus c by 1 minus 2t. Now we are going to take LCM which is the product of all the denominator 1 plus t into 1 minus t into 1 minus 2t and here a into 1 minus t into 1 minus 2t plus b into 1 plus t into 1 minus 2t then plus c into 1 plus t into 1 minus t since both the sides we have same denominator we can equate the numerator so minus 1 equal to this numerator now we have to take suitable value for t to find the constant a b c let's take t equal to 1 so t is 1 then this equation will become minus 1 equal to this has a factor 1 minus 3 so this will become 0 and when it is 1 we have b into when I put 1 this will become 1 plus 1 so 2 when I put 1 here 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 and again the last term is 0 because it has a factor 1 minus t so we can cancel these two minus so from this the value of b is 1 by 2 in the same way we have to find the other constant by taking another suitable value of t let's take t as minus 1 if you take minus 1 then the equation is minus 1 equal to this will become plus 1 now so a into 2 then when i take minus 1 here it will become plus 2 so totally it is 3 then this second factor when i put minus 1 here this will become 0 in the same way third factor also will become 0 so from this value of 
a v dot minus 1 by 6. Now, the another value which we have to take for t to make some factor 0 is t equal to half. So, the equation is minus 1 is equal to this has a factor 1 minus 2t. When I put half here, this will become 0. Even the b term also becomes 0. We left with only c term 1 plus half into 1 minus half. So, from this minus 1 equal to c into 3 by 2 and this is 1 by 2 and I can carry this 4 here. So, the value of c will be minus 4 by 3. Now, these three values we have to substitute in the term where we applied the partial fraction rule. So, we have a by 1 plus t. So, a is minus 1 by 6. So, minus 1 by 6 by 1 plus t dt integral. Then, b value half, half by 1 minus t plus half by 1 minus t dt integral. Then, c value which is minus 4 by 3. So, I take plus here and minus 4 by 3 dt divided by and the denominator is 1 minus 2t. 1 minus 2t. Now, we are going to rearrange the term by taking all the constants outside. So, minus 1 by 6 outside, we have dt by 1 plus t plus 1 by 2 outside. So, dt by 1 minus t minus 4 by 3 outside integral dt by 1 minus 2t. This will become minus 1 by 6 log 1 plus t. Then half log 1 minus t but t has a coefficient minus so we have to divide the term by minus 1. So instead of plus this term will become minus. In the last term minus 4 by 3 log mod 1 minus 2t and we have to divide by minus 2. So, if I divide by minus 2, it means I have to multiply denominator by minus 2. So, this will become plus now. So, let us write that in the next step. So, minus 1 by 6 log mod 1 plus t minus 1 by 2 log mod 1 minus t and it will become plus 2 by 3 log mod 1 minus 2t plus c at the end. Now, we have to replace t. t is cos x. So, every t is replaced with cos x. So, the final answer is minus 1 by 6 log mod 1 plus cos x minus 1 by 2 log mod 1 minus cos x plus 2 by 3 log mod 1 minus 2 cos x plus c.